Hi, this is Paul Harn from thesaxophonist.org, and I'm here with a playtest and review of the Retro Revival New Yorker alto saxophone mouthpiece. You know, the saxophone is one of the most iconic instruments in, in the idiom, and if you're talking about recognizable equipment that goes with such a great instrument, surely the Meyer Brothers alto saxophone mouthpieces have got to be right up there, right next to the Autolink tenor saxophone mouthpieces. Uh, Retro Revival has explored their vast collection of vintage mouthpieces and recreated uh, a really outstanding tool for the alto saxophonist. It produces a very warm and flexible, yet projecting sound. You can get a variety of colors, articulation is very quick, and the thing I like about it the most is that it really responds well down into the low instrument, uh, low range of the instrument. And not a lot of saxophone mouthpieces out there. You know, there are a lot of clones of the Meyer Brothers. Uh, I had one when I was a teenager and really didn't know what I had. Um, I put it onto my a brand new neck cork, not knowing that there was a slight crack in the in the shank of the mouthpiece. It split like a piece of sugar cane all the way up. And um, I was upset about it, but you know, I figured you just buy another mouthpiece. It wasn't really until I tried the Retro Revival mouthpiece that I kind of remembered, oh my gosh, that's what, a, what it used to play like. You know, it's like going back and trying um, one of your favorite dishes that you had when you were a kid, uh, and you haven't had it in years. Again, the mouthpiece is very flexible, produces a great sound. Give you a little demonstration. Uh, I can play with my regular voicing down low or subtone. Um, I can't tell you how many times I haven't been able to produce a subtone on alto. Uh, I think my favorite part about the mouthpiece is that it feels like an alto saxophone mouthpiece. Well, I know what you're saying. You're saying, duh, it's an alto saxophone mouthpiece. What I mean is, I think there's been a movement afoot lately with a lot of companies to try to create a mouthpiece that produces a bigger sound or wider variety of overtones, and it somehow changes the ratio of what the mouthpiece to the tubing is supposed to be like. This just feels right. Um, I was really taken by the fact that I put the mouthpiece on, have never played it before, and it's like, oh yeah, that's where everything is. It's like getting into a great automobile and, and having to use the stick shift, and just all the gears seem to work really well. I could produce really bright sounds. <laughs> which isn't how I normally play, but if I wanted to create a, a darker sound, I could do it. Uh, the articulation is very flexible. Um, Altissimo is fantastic. I think if you're really serious about finding a mouthpiece that is going to bring out the characteristics of your sound and really marry well to the alto saxophone, you definitely want to try the New Yorker mouthpiece from Retro Revival. If you want to learn more about this mouthpiece and the four other mouthpieces from the Retro Revival line that we reviewed on thesaxophonist.org, go to www.thesaxophonist.org. Check it out. You'll be glad you did.